Okay, um, let's see. Welcome to everybody. Um, I saw that many of you have joined yet, uh, haven't joined yet. Um, we're going to wait just one minute more and then we're going to start with the video class. Welcome, Mr. Pastran, uh, Mr. Jimenez, uh, Mr. Hernandez, Ms. Aguilar, uh, Mr. Callejas, and Mr. Canjura. Welcome. And um, well, how are, how are you today? Have you been working? Have you been studying? What do you do today? Hi, teacher. Hello, Mr. Hernandez. How are you? Um, I am great. What about you? I'm fine, Mr. Uh, have you been working today? Yes, I. Yes, I. I have uh, how I have to say, I well, I went to work. Oh, you work very good, excellent. So, uh, that means that you're tired or not? Uh, yes, a little kind tired. Of, kind of, kind of tired. Kind of, kind of. Yes, <laughs> but I I relax. Uh, I relax in in a few moments and. I, I am good now. Uh, you're good now. That that's great. That's great, sir. Uh, let me see. I think that everybody uh, joined. Uh, we're going to start with a video class um, for today. We're going to be talking about conditionals. Uh, who we construct first and second conditional. We're going to see that, and also we're going to check some exercises uh, that we must solve. Um, let me see. Well, this is the cover. Uh, let me go to the um, to the objective. Uh, well, this one. Uh, give me a second, because I I think that something is wrong with this. Let me check. Oh, I got it. I see. Just give me a second. Good evening, teacher. Good evening. How are you? Fine. And you? I'm fine too, Miss. What was your day? Uh, do you work today? Excuse me? How, uh, what do you do today? What do you do today? I, I don't understand. You don't understand? Don't do you work? Do you work today or the, uh, or, well, what do you do? I forgot. I know, see. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Uh, este, ¿Qué tal el día? ¿Qué hice en el día? Este, trabajó. Ah, yes, I, I go to my work. Ah, ok, very good. Um, yes. ¿Y en qué trabaja usted? En importaciones. ¿Importaciones? Sí. Oh, ok, good. Well, guys, um, I told it. Um, I will share with you the, the the PowerPoint presentation right now, and we're going to see, we're going to check the objective of the class. It says that by the end of this class, you will learn how to use conditional sentence with if clause. We're going to see just two, the first conditional and zero conditional, okay? Um, Bien, este, uh, antes de iniciar la clase, me gustaría escuchar, este, escucharlos a ustedes um, 
referente a si eh, está bien que yo mantenga, me mantenga hablando solamente en inglés o este, prefieren que este, dé algunas indicaciones en español. L pregunto debido este, a que eh, hubo un comentario este, de alguien eh, de que si podía dar indicaciones también en, en español. Así que me gustaría escucharlos a la mayoría, porque si la mayoría me dice, no, eh, perdón, no, mister, este, preferimos que nos hable solo en inglés, solo en inglés, porque si aprendemos mejor, este, pues yo lo hago. Si me dicen, no, este, nos gustaría que eh, nos diese ciertas, ciertas indicaciones en español, pues yo también lo hago. Así que yo me adapto este, a, a cómo ustedes deseen que trabaje. Teacher. Okay. Just in English. Just in English. Okay. What about the rest? Teacher. Okay. <coughs> Hello. Okay. Hello. Eh, bueno, no, yo pienso de que es que como yo quizás vea, yo a mí me falta como la confianza de expresarme muchas veces. Okay. Pero yo pienso que, que cada uno sabemos hasta dónde podemos vea mm -hmm. y hasta dónde estamos. Y okay. Bueno, yo pienso de que no deberían de sentir pena si se equivocan o, o no deberían de sentirse. Sí. Ajá, si, si no lo pueden expresar en inglés, que lo expresen en español ¿Sí? y para eso es usted, para ayudar. Y el que puede, pues así que se siente que ya puede, que lo intente y que lo, haga, lo diga en inglés, porque usted de todas maneras lo va a entender. Exactamente. Y así sería como un... Con un, un, ¿cómo se llama? ¿Cómo le puedo decir? Porque cuando yo aprendo de los que saben, ¿verdad? Entonces, este, y, y si yo no lo puedo decir en inglés, lo digo en español. Y no, no debería dar pena. Entonces, okay. porque nunca vamos a estar todos igual al mismo nivel. Eso pienso yo, ¿verdad? Porque, por ejemplo, a mí, yo tengo problemas quizás con el ICEN. Mm -hmm. Me cuesta un poco. Pero, sin embargo, yo trato de entender. Ajá, okay. aunque yo me pueda ver que me exprese, pero muchas veces no entiendo la comprensión. Ajá, okay, entonces, great. y así hay muchos, pues, que pues, saben otras cosas que yo no sé. Entonces, sí. depende in, de cada quien, me imagino. Yes, in, in my case, uh -huh. I'm better in the listening. Yes. Ok. Teacher, no. yo sí me gustaría... Mm. Eh, en algunas instrucciones en español porque se nos enseña yo no entiendo todo lo que dice y me quedo en la luz ok, very good uh, bien, este eh, vamos a hacer algo uh, esto con, con el ánimo de ayudarlos a todos eh, yo siempre me voy a mantener este, uh, por, por lo, que me ustedes lo que me están expresando algunos de ustedes me voy a mantener hablando en inglés y me gusta la idea que tiene este Villalta eh, que si no entendemos algo, este, pues lo preguntemos. Yo creo que en este caso, este, Miss Larín, eh, va, si usted me dice, mire, eh, yo no entiendo qué es lo que me está diciendo, pues pregúntemelo. Este, y de esa forma, pues, eh, creo que podríamos solventar eh, la duda que usted tenga o la, que, la duda que tenga este, alguien más. No sé si les parece trabajar de esa forma. Me parece. Sí. Yes, sí, teacher, it's okay. sí, yo pienso que sí está bien porque sí, o bien. sea, los demás se sienten, que tengan la confianza, que no les dé pena, porque igual yo he estado con la par de personas que yo me he quedado uh, en las nubes, así, ¿verdad? Pero sin embargo, yo digo, ese es mi reto. Entonces, <ríe> es que vamos a aprender que vamos a aprender. Ok, muy bien. <ríe> <O> aprendemos, aprendemos. <ríe> Okay, uh, very good. So we're going to be talking just in English and if you have any question, just please let me know and I will stop and then I will explain in Spanish. But uh, let me know if you want me to explain something in Spanish it, because if you don't say anything, that's mean that you are understanding everything what I'm saying, okay? So okay. we're going to start with the uh, video class for today. As I told you, we're going to be talking about conditionals. We're going to see first and second, I mean, zero and first conditional, um, but we're going to see this quote. Um, let's see, I need you uh, to participate, giving your opinion, giving your own thinking, um, 
uh, about this quote. It says, when you reach the end of your rope, type a knot in it and hang on. Okay, uh, let's see, who wants to participate? Who wants to, to, to express something about it? This quote uh, was taken from Roosevelt. Have you ever listened about Roosevelt? I didn't hear about Roosevelt. Roosevelt, 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 Street. Roosevelt, <laughs> Roosevelt uh, the was president? president from the United States. A uh, president of the United States. Yes, he was a president of the United States. Okay, tell me, what do you think about it? When you reach the end of your rope, Tie a knot in it and hang on. What do you think about it? Let me check. I have someone in the chat. So I don't know and what does mean rope? Rope. Eh, cuerda. Mm, thank you. Teacher. Tell me. Um, that quote is a kind of idiom, an ex idiomatic expression. Reach the end of your rope. The end of is the rope. An, el final. Yeah, that, el final de, de, de sí, es, it's idiomatic. That, okay. yeah, eh, because it's the rule translation doesn't make a lot of sense. <laughs> okay, so okay. It must be it must be a, a idiomatic expression. And yes, it's a I don't know what is the meaning. It says when you reach the end of your rope, it's like saying uh, when you go to the final of your uh, of your path, okay. <laughs> Okay. When you go to the final of your path. Okay, yeah. Thank you. Something like that. Okay. When you go to the end of your path, uh, or when you reach the end of your uh, road, tie a knot in it and hang on. Okay. Um, well, I will I will try to explain something about it. Um, this quote was taken from from Roosevelt, as I, as I told you, and he think that when you um, when you're doing something in your life, when you have a project, uh, when you have studies, when you have a uh, work, and you go to the end, okay, and you think that the things are uh, uh, well finish for you or end for you, he say, okay, don't give up or never give up, okay? Uh, you must keep working, keep working. Never, uh, never um, leave the things uh, like go away. So you must tie uh, in, 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 at the end and if you tie, that means that you will keep working, keep working till you get it, okay? In that way. Uh, that was he think in, in this quote. And um, if you have something to add, please, this is the moment. For instance, Mr. Uh, let me see someone. Uh, Mr. Jimenez. Is it true? What do you think about it? Um, I understand that in this moment in the life, I cannot stop. I can start I think, think, I think, I think everything that I have, uh, what can I do? Uh, um, I'm, I'm <laughs> oh, okay. I in, in my life. Uh, <laughs> like can I do in my life? Uh, enrich my 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 thing in. Uh, and I guess in <laughs> Uh, 
<laughs> okay, but but I got I, I got what what you're telling me. Um, well, in 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 short words, that mean um, try to achieve your goals. Okay, try to achieve your objectives that you have set for your life, right? It's it's like don't give up. Okay, don't give up. Yes, that's right. Never give up. Right. It's um, also like uh, when you get what you wanted and you're finally done, you don't have to stop there. If you can add something plus, do it. Always start something new, never give up. Exactly, yes, yes, that's right. Thank you, Mr. Fastran. Very good, very good opinion. Uh, well, we're going to start the topic that corresponds for tonight. And um, we're going to see um, first of all, intonation and statement in statements with time phrases. Uh, we're going to watch a video, and then we're going to discuss, and then we're going to be talking about a zero and first conditional. Uh, let me uh, show you the video right now. I will stop sharing this slide, and I will uh, go to YouTube. Uh, give me a second. Like that. What is it? Okay, here and here. Can you see the the um the video? The, can you see the video? No, not yet. Not yet. Not yet. I can see the video. What about now? Oh, yes. Yeah, it's black. Okay, yes, okay. it is. Because uh, I haven't played yet. Let me see there in that way. So let me know if you cannot listen the audio. So if not, I will try to solve it. Uh, let's check. Ready to work on pronunciation? Notice the intonation in these statements beginning with a time phrase. Pronunciation. Intonation in statements with time phrases. Part A. Listen and practice. Notice the intonation in these statements beginning with a time phrase. In the past, very few people used computers. Today, people use computers all the time. In the future, there will be a computer in every home. Can you now complete these statements with your own information? In, in okay, we're going to stop here. Uh, we're going to be talking about this. Uh, what happened with it? Um, as we saw the last time, we were talking about past, present, and future. When we're talking about in a specific time uh, in a sentence, um, we're going to pronounce it in a rising, okay, rising voice. For instance, if you listen to the sentence, it says in the past, that's mean in rising, okay, the, the, the voice and the sound of that uh, expression is rising, okay? So uh, in the past, very few people use computers. In that case, at the end of that sentence, we can see a falling, falling in the pronunciation. This is a, this happened when we use time expressions. Uh, uh, for instance, in the past, uh, today, uh, nowadays, in the future, okay, uh, in two months. So if we use time expressions, we always um, use the rising in um, the sentences. Is it clear what I'm saying? Yes, teacher. Yes. 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 Yeah. Clear. Very good. Can you give me an example of time expression? Tomorrow. Tomorrow. Okay. Very good. Excellent. So we're going to see um, the next uh, slide of this presentation. I'm going to stop this. Now we'll show you the um, the PPT. Okay. Here. Uh, 
this is the video that we watched and uh, we're going to, well, this is not what I'm trying to show you. Okay, here. Um, as we saw, well, we discussed the intonation. That was something that I missed uh, the last class to show you the intonation when we use time expressions, okay? So we'll, we learned that. We're going to study now zero and first conditional. And uh, this zero and first conditionals is, it is used when we use the, the word if, but we're going to see what happens when we um, use if, if we can change that word or not, we're going to see that right now. Um, we're going to start with the zero conditional, okay? And it says that we can make zero conditional sentence with simple present verbs, okay? And the zero conditional, it is composed by two, by two uh, uh, sentences. The first one that is the if clause and the second one that is the main clause. We are going to know that. Um, let me... Uh, oh, let me go to the following slide. It's, uh, okay, in this part. Um, it says that zero conditional is used when the result will always happen. So if water reaches 100 degrees, it's always boil. Um, in this part, when we talk about zero conditional, the zero conditional, it is used when we had something, okay, uh, as a condition, and we're going to have a result that happened uh, in 100%, okay? For instance, what happened if I uh, hit the ice? What happened if I hit the ice? It will melt. Okay, it smell. Okay, it smell. Why? Because if I hit the eye, it smell. Uh, and that happened always. So in those cases, it's when we're going to use the zero conditional. Okay. Um, we're going to see some examples here. The example that we have here, it says, when water reaches 100 degrees, what happened? Mm -hmm. Oh, it always boils, okay, boils in this case. Um, if you notice in this sentence, I will use the marker in this part, when, okay, when can be replaced with using if, okay, if. Both this one and this one has the same meaning, okay? We can use both. We can use when water reaches 100 degrees, it always boils. Or we can use if water reaches 100 degrees, it always boils. Uh, it doesn't matter. You can use both, when or if. Um, we're going to see some examples here in the following presentation. Um, and we're going to see how they work. Check it out. If, okay, if people eat too much, what happened? They get fat. They get fat, they always, get fat. okay, always. If someone eat too much, it, uh, he or she get fat, okay? Uh, that's happened always. Uh, then the, let's, see the, let, let's see the next sentence. If you touch a fire, what happened? To get born. To get born. To get born. Because if I put my hand in the fire, I'm going to get born. I'm going to get my hand born. That happened in the 100% of the times. Um, let's see. People die. Okay, listen, people die if they don't eat, okay? That's a fact, that's a fact. If I don't eat, I'm going to die, okay? That's happened always. Check it out this, snakes bite if they are scared. Snakes bite if they are scared. Okay, that happened all. <laughs> Sorry? Case is carried. 
Scare. Uh, si, vale, si, si yo traduzco la oración sería como las serpientes de muerte si ellas se asustan. Scare. Ah, asustarse. Ok. Scare. Uh, if babies are hungry, okay. what do they usually do? They cry. They cry. They cry. Okay. They cry. Always. Always. Um, well, that's how a zero conditional it works, and that's the structure of how zero conditional it, it is constructed. If you notice, if you notice in this sentence that we have here, we have two types of sentence. The first one, I will delete this. Give me a second. Let's see if I can do it. Uh, okay, here. Okay, check it out this. Um, here I have a sentence that start with if in this part. And here I have a sentence that start with the, I mean, that uh, had the, the if clause at the end. So in this part, it doesn't matter the order of the sentence. I can rewrite this sentence and use they get fat. Uh, let me see if I can type here. Mm, give me a second. I don't know if I can do it. Um, mm, mm, mm. No. No. Okay, I can do it. Um, I'm going to use a whiteboard because it's going to be better. Give me a second, this way. I'm going to take the sentence that I have there in the slide and I'm going to put it in the whiteboard. Because it's going to be better to, to explain this, this part. Uh, I'm going to use this sentence. Can you see the sentence right now? Can you see the sentence? Yes. Oh, yes. Very good. Here we have. Okay, uh, I'm going to highlight this part. I'm going to use red. If people eat too much, okay, they get fat. Okay. In this part, in this part, we can use um, we can use the, the the if clause at the end of the sentence. We can type like, check it out, people. Uh, sorry, people. Okay, get fat if okay. If too much. They eat too much. It too much. There, in that way. What happened here? We change. We change the order of the sentence. Uh, we change the order of the sentence. And the sentence, uh, the meaning of the sentence is the same. Okay? The meaning of yes. the sentence is the same. Um, people get fat, okay, they get fat if they eat too much. These parts belong to this and these parts belong to this. What is the only thing that's changed in this sentence? What is the only thing? Ah, the, what we're going to change is the subject. Why? Because if we're referring to someone in a specific, the subject must be at the beginning, and the second sentence has to be um, ha needs a reference from the first one. For instance, if I use Maria, okay, if I use Maria, I'm going to choose, I'm going to use she, okay. If I use uh, Carlos, I'm going to use he, okay, as reference in the second sentence. Um, in this case, if I'm using people. Okay, that's mean more than two, uh, more than two people. Um, I'm going to use the uh, the pronoun they because there are two or more. Okay. 
Um, what happened? Why I use people at the beginning? Ah, because if I'm going to use a pronoun in the second sentence, I need a noun in the first sentence. Let's see how we construct this sentence, the, in, 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 how we change the order of this sentence. I will put it here in the whiteboard. And let's see how you do it. Okay, I will delete this. Uh, well, okay, we'll throw in, and I'm going to use this part, this purple, this purple, and this is going to be the sentence. I want you to construct a sentence, but using the if clause at the uh, at the end. Okay, how we can do it? You can use the whiteboard. If you are, if you are in your computer, you can use the whiteboard. If not, you can type it uh, in the chat of this video conference, okay? So you can do it there. You can type it in the whiteboard or you can use the chat of this video conference. You have to uh, restructurate or, or change the order of the sentence. Go the ahead. baby cry. But you must yeah, yeah. you must write it down. You must write it down in, in, in the chat of the um, of this video conference, or you can um, you can uh, write it down in the whiteboard. Okay. Let's see. I have someone here. Babies cry if they are hungry. The babies cry if they are hungry. Okay, I'm going to use this. Very good. Yes, um, as we see in the chat, as we see in the chat, babies cry if they are hungry. That's the correct answer. I'm going to uh, write it here. Oh, sorry. Let me do this. Let me do this. Okay, um, babies cry if they are hungry. Uh, well. I will move this, I, I, we're going to see that later. Okay, um, here we have. <clears throat> Babies must be copied a letter at the beginning. Okay, babies cry if they are hungry. Okay, so in that way we change the order of the sentence. Okay, uh, if we use this part, must be like babies. Babies cry instead of using they, and we're using the if clause in this part okay we are just changing the order is it clear how to construct a sentence using zero conditional yes okay okay sí, mire bueno no este tengo una duda cuando dijo del nombre maría el por ejemplo y es que no entendí a dónde voy a usar el pronombre Al, al final o al, o al principio ok um, es que cuando nosotros utilizamos las, eh, el cero condicional eh, nosotros necesitamos un nombre al principio, puede ser un nombre este, directamente eh, el que utilicemos pero eh, les estaba explicando que nosotros al inicio de la oración siempre debe ir ese nombre, por ejemplo puede ser María este componiendo un ejemplo, ¿verdad? Y en la segunda oración tiene que ir un pronombre para no hacer repetición de nombres, ¿verdad? Por ejemplo, si, si yo digo este por aquí, si, si Juan okay, está este hambriento, él llora en lugar de decir babies, ¿verdad? 
si Juan, un niño pequeño, este, tiene hambre, él llora, ¿ok? No podemos utilizar el pronombre al principio, porque como no hemos este, utilizado nosotros un nombre eh, este, al que haga referencia, la, la oración no tendría sentido. Si yo digo, por ejemplo, este, si él llora, eh, perdón, si él este, tiene hambre, Juan llora. ¿Tiene sentido la oración? No, porque en este caso está haciendo referencia a otra persona, no a Juan. ¿Ok? No sé si me doy a entender en ese sentido. Sí, tiene que usar el pronombre entonces. En uno tiene que ser el, el pronombre en la segunda oración y ah. el nombre en la primera oración. Si nosotros cambiamos el, el, el orden, ah, entonces siempre vamos a mantener el nombre al inicio de la oración. La primera oración. Ok. Uh -huh, exactamente. Ahora bien, uh, what, kind, what type of sentence are we using here? Oh, we are using simple present. We are using just that. Simple present. How we construct simple present? Using subject, using verb, and, and if we want, we can use okay. um, an object, okay? How we can see this in the, in, the, in, the, in the example that we have here? Okay, babies, that is the subject, and cry, that is the verb, okay? Then we're going to use another um, sentence in simple present. They, that is in present, this is the subject. Are, that is the verb. And hungry, that is the object. And also where you're going to use in this part, the if clause, if, okay? If, subject verb, subject verb, Object. Okay, is it clear? Yes, it is. Yes, teacher. Okay, muy bien. Este, recordemos eso. Las oraciones deben ser en presente simple. They must be in simple present. Um, let's see if we uh, if we can construct a sentence using this. Okay, you're going to have an activity and must be in, in trios, okay? In trios, you're going to construct a sentence using zero conditional. And you are going to tell me that sentence in, in the general conference after the breakout rooms. I'm going to construct the, uh, I mean the, the, the groups Right now, and give me a second. You are 14 participants. Okay, here. Um, you are going to be in breakout rooms, okay? So uh, with your classmate, uh, construct a sentence using zero conditional. Uh, do you, uh, um, um, I'm expressing the instruction in a good way. Can you understand that? What are you going to do? Yes, okay, very good. Yes, don't you so, go don't ahead. Just one. Just one. You're going to have just three minutes, okay? Three minutes and then you're going to be back. What? We are going to do an example. Que hagamos un ejemplo. Yeah. Okay. Quería eh, ser. Pick the the subject. 
Eh, wait, wait a moment. ¿Con qué? It could be if you don't study, you will fail your test. Mm -hmm. If you don't study. Okay. I was checking your example, the ones that you were uh, saying. Uh, I have just to give you a reminder. You must use simple present because you're using will there. When we use will, that means that we are using oh, okay, future. Okay. okay, it must be in simple present, okay? So if you I don't study, then you can do a test. That sentence, I, I think. Okay. I, oh yeah, if I am tired, I have to go to the bar early, early. Oh, yeah. he won't, uh-huh, I yeah, won't, got it. Future, uh -huh. if I'm tired, I have to go to the bed early, that's what you said, right? Okay, Um, I have to interrupt you, and I have to give you a reminder, okay? Um, yeah, go ahead. In this case, we must use simple present, okay? Um, okay. Simple oh. present, just simple present. The, the first one must be in simple present and the second one must be in simple present. Yes, okay, in, simple in this present. case, if I am, if I type, I go to the bed. If I, if I am tired, this present continues, no solamente, Puede ser, if you take a shower late. Ay, no sé. Okay, I, 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 only change, I only change the, the sentence. I, I, the new sentence is, if I type, si estoy cansado, mm -hmm. uh, I will go to bed. Ah, bien, ok. If, if, if uh, uh, Anderson... Anderson oh. tired. is tired. Tired. He goes. He goes. He goes, he goes yeah. to the to bed. bed. To bed. Mm -hmm. Oh, he goes to take a rest. Okay. Mm -hmm. Okay. <laughs> uh, Do you well, get? Do you want to say another one? Um. Yes. If yeah, I watch, if I watch movie, uh, if I watch movie, I feel better. Para subir a Didi, no te estoy duro. Para subir a Didi. I know. 
I don't think. Okay, yeah. I have the example. <clears throat> I have the example, but uh, I can't write in a screen. Okay. Uh, in the screen. Okay, I have, I have the example. Uh, is uh, people suffer if they are in a war, and for changing the sentence will be, if people are in a war, they suffer. Um. Writing the whiteboard so in the chat. And we're back. Teacher. Hello. Hello. I have a question. Okay. For example, if I use um, this um, this example, for example, if I have with the homework to my kids, they can learn so much. Puedo usar el can también ahí o solo así. Just, uh, okay, in this case we won't use moral. We use learn. They learn. Okay? They learn. If I, I help my children with their homework, they mm -hmm. learn. Simple present. Okay? Okay. Okay. Understand. Teacher, my background, uh, maybe you can you can you can see me because my kid changed the background and I forgot to change tomorrow. <laughs> okay. okay. Not, Monday, I'm sorry. Like, can I, you look like a ghost. But I told her that it's kind of funny. <laughs> so. Yes. It, it, and I don't know how can I do. <laughs> okay. I don't know how can I resolve this problem now. But okay. maybe. But it's <laughs> yes. <laughs> okay, okay. Uh, let's see, uh, Mr. Let me see, Mr. Kanjura, you have an example? Sir, do you have any example? Okay, I'm sorry. The microphone was out. And okay, an example. Okay. Okay, people suffer. Mm -hmm. People suffer if they are in a war. Okay. And changing the sentence, if people are in a war, they suffer. Yes, okay, that's good. That's that's a good 
um, example. Very good. Thank you, sir. Okay. Um, let me see who else, Mr. Portillo. Do you have any, any sentence? Yes, uh, we have, um, if you don't study, then you fail your test. Okay, if you okay. don't study, okay, okay, then, very good. That's good, excellent. Then you fail your test. E, the another one, you fail your test if you don't study. If you don't study, very good, excellent. Um, Mr. Callejas. Movies in English is beautiful. I can hear you, sir. Oh, okay, okay. Um, let me see who wants to share. Uh, who wants to share the the uh, sentence that you wrote? Can I, teacher? Okay, go ahead, sir. Okay. Um, if I drink too much, I get drunk. You get drunk. <laughs> okay, that's good. Yeah, that's, that's that, a that, true one. Yes, that's a fact. Okay, that's a fact. Very good. Uh, well, we have finished this session. Uh, I guess we we didn't complete the uh, the class, the activity. but we're going to be working this coming Monday in the first conditional. We're going to see how we construct sentence uh, with using first conditional this coming Monday. Uh, so I invite you to don't miss the class and uh, remember to work in the platform. You must finish at least the 80% of all the exercises. Uh, if you have any questions, you can uh, write it. And you can send your questions to the WhatsApp group. And if you know the answer, so you can help each other. If not, I will try to help you um, in that um, in the chat, okay, in a, in a, in a WhatsApp group. Uh, do you have any question? Sí, right yo now? tengo una. Okay. Este, eh, pueden mandar los links de la clase del Zoom por WhatsApp, porque yo, yo las repaso, la verdad. Muy bien. Eh, cuando usted, eh, usted vaya a sus clases, pues. Mm -hmm. Oh, you want Ajá. to see the videos. Por ejemplo, the ayer me la perdí. Ajá, ayer okay, me la perdí y no la vi. Yes, you can visit um, the channel that is called Inglés Corporativo in sí, YouTube. Ya la busqué, pero yo no lo hallo a usted. Oh, I will, uh, oh, something that you can do is just uh, use the fillers the, that, that we have there. Uh, do you have a code, right? That is, a, um, let me see. Yo estoy, no sé si estoy inscrita, pero no, no, o sea, para, hay muchos profesores. Yes, I know. Uh, but you, you can use, you can use this. Check it out. Uh, I will send it to the chat. This is a code that we can use to look for the classes. Okay, if you type that uh, in the, in YouTube, it show you the, 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 all the list of the, of this class, all the videos. Mm -hmm. Right, uh, you try doing that and you and looking for and you're going to see all the videos that has been unloaded. Upload, I mean. mm -hmm. it, it may be extra work uh, for you, but the last teacher used to, every night after classes, he used to send the WhatsApp group the, the link of the video on YouTube. So, okay, got it. That was kind of easy for us because he always was posting it. Okay, uh, what I can do, something that I that I can do to all, to to help you is to send. Um, uh, let me see the list of all the videos where you can find it. Uh, give me a second. I will do it right now. 
you're going to see the list um, in the in a column that is in on the right. And there you can find my videos too. Check it out. There you have the link and I will send it to WhatsApp group too. Just give me a second. Let me check. Can you see the list that you have uh, for all those videos? Yes, I got it. You got it? So there, in that space, you can find all the videos from this class. Uh, I will do it right now using the WhatsApp group here. Okay, there. If you can find it, if you can't find it, please let me know. But if you do, you can check all the videos there. Um, okay. I guess you receive all the link of the YouTube channel. Okay. Sí, ya las, ajá, aquí está. La de ayer, tengo que buscar la de ayer. Yes, you, you are going to find oh, in, in that list uh, the videos that were uploaded yesterday, well, since Monday. Okay. Okay, thank you so much. That's an easy way to do it. Uh, let me see, sir, Mr. Callejas. Oh, yes, you got the, you got the playlist. Very good. Uh, well, that's been all for tonight. Uh, I will see you uh, this coming Monday. I hope you that you can um, study all this, the, the topics that you must develop there in the platform. Please, as uh, 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 it's a reminder, you must complete 80% of the, of the exercises there. And to get the certification, also you must attend the 80% of the video classes. Uh, we'll okay. see you this coming Monday. See Bye you. and blessings for Bye. all of you. Thank Good weekend. You, Good night weekend. Have a nice Good weekend. Night. Thank you. Good night, everyone. See you.